Raise your hand if you've ever heard anything about a uterine fibroid before, or if you even know what fibroids are. Nobody? Yeah, me either. So, I didn't know what the heck that was until about last year when I got diagnosed with having fibroids. About a year ago, I changed the birth control pills that I was on because I was having acne and I just felt like maybe it's the birth control. Maybe I need a different type to like help me calm this acne down. I would say within a month of me getting on it, I got my period the next month and something weird happened. So, of course, well, I mean, some certain periods are different. So, for some girls, they have periods for like seven to ten days seven to ten business days some girls have periods for three days some girls have it for like two days i have it for about five days i would say a good three strong days and then the other two days it's like really light i still you know keep something on just to be careful i have like a couple period panties so i don't want to ruin all my panties so i have my regular period and after five days i'm like why is this still heavy because as I said the last two days is usually light but days are still going by and it was still heavy I would say I had my period for about two weeks and that was very abnormal for me I was shook to the core like your girl was shook I said I'm dying something is going on why am I still bleeding it's never happened before my boyfriend was like what the heck and I'm like mm, I don't know so I called my OBGYN and she said, well, I'm going to set you up to have an appointment with a primary. I have to get a new primary because my old one was like leaving her practice or whatever. So I go over there. They refer me to some lab because they want me to get some like tests done or whatever. I go there. The girl puts that little, um, I don't know what it's called, that little jelly thing on your stomach. Basically, you know how what, like when you're getting an ultrasound. I was, I was basically getting like an ultrasound. So she put that little warm it was cold actually they had a little cold gel thing on my stomach use her little things to go over my stomach and i'm like looking at it because i'm nosy as hell and i'm curious as fuck so i'm like looking at it trying to see what she sees um as if i'm a doctor as if i'm gonna understand what's going on in my belly right no but i'm still like looking eyes sharp looking at the little monitor like what's going on and like <laughs> for a second my mind was playing tricks on me i'm like is that a baby <laughs> I got I've never been so shook in my life. I thought I saw a baby in there. I was like I saw a little little like circle and I was just like Am I pregnant? Like I immediately blurted it out to her. I'm like, is that a baby? Am I pregnant? She looked at me like, girl, no, you're not pregnant. I was like, whew. I've never been so shook in my life. Like, Lord, I'm like, I've been on birth control. There's no way. But thankfully that wasn't the case. But she said it does look like you have fibroids though. And when she said that, I immediately was like confused because I've never heard of that before. I didn't know what that meant. I'm like, fibroids? Like, like Soldier Boy, fibroids? What does that mean? Like, is that, I'm thinking I have cancer. As soon as she says fibroids, I'm thinking tumor. She's like showing me like the little, the little, um, like circles or whatever we don't worry it's very small but that's probably the reason why you're bleeding a little bit extra um there's nothing to worry about if like we're gonna monitor you like every year and if it gets bigger then of course we're gonna have to do surgery get rid of it but you're really good right now so don't worry about it blah blah, blah. so when she told me not to worry about it completely took it out of my mind i'm like all right she said don't worry about it it's nothing she said it's very common too so that's another thing that made me feel like comfortable i'm like okay and it's not cancerous so i'm not gonna die so all right i was just like okay took it out of my brain and it wasn't until like i mean in the, it was always in the back of my mind because i was thinking like is this gonna affect me from having kids in the future be it i don't want to have kids now but in a couple of years like of course i want to have a big family i want to have at least like five kids my parents are products of a big ass family like they each have at least like eight siblings between the both of them i think my dad has like 11 my mom had like eight or nine or more like they both have a lot of siblings so i grew up in a big family put it to the back of my mind all this time but recently i watched a video or an episode of love and hip-hop where shay was talking about how she had fibroids it was the size of a what did she say a grapefruit it was really big and she had to she was having like fainting spells she had to go get surgery she was really scared she hadn't had kids yet so she didn't want to miss out on that and like all this stuff and I was just like wow like that brought me back to thinking about it and then a couple of days later like my cousin comes into town from like Florida or wherever the fuck she was living her nomad ass um she came into town and she was telling us how she had fibroids as well I have surgery like it costs a lot of money she's telling us how she was fainting too so I'm like oh my god so this is a real thing so it, it led me to think in my brain that fibroids you know they tell you, oh, it's okay. You don't need to do anything now. Like, you're good, blah, blah, blah. It's bullshit. 
what I believe is that like they grow over time. Like they start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's bullshit when they tell you, oh, you don't need to worry about it. Like it's not cancerous. It's not gonna affect you. That's bullshit. You know damn well like that shit's gonna grow over time. Just get rid of it. Sorry guys, my camera died and I can't find the rest of my clips. Go figure. But basically I was saying like just get rid of it. As soon as you diagnose somebody with having fibroids, why not just say okay we have the, this non this new non-invasive surgery that my cousin was actually like getting me hip to that we can just like stick a needle inside and like i don't know how they do it but they can basically get it out without doing surgery and without leaving you with a scar although me personally i'm not worried about having a scar on my body like it kind of looks like a, um a c-section scar that's what they say it's like close resemblance to for me i'm not really worried about that like, whoever ends up being lucky enough to be my husband one day is gonna love me from head to toe so i'm not worried about having a damn scar that saved my life what's the point of going to school and spending all this money to go to school just to become a doctor and not give a fuck about your patients like if you know there's a non-invasive surgery or regardless even even if it's a non-invasive surgery or not like why not just say okay you have fibroids let's get rid of it you have something in your body that shouldn't be there that's growing abnormally even though right now it's okay like we need to get it out so that you don't have to worry about it in the future. Just get rid of it. I don't know. Like, if you've ever been diagnosed with fibroids before, or if you have, if you ever had surgery for it, please let me know how that went, what the process is, if I should just go to my doctors and tell them, get rid of this shit out of my body now and see, like, how much all that's going to cost. I was also doing some research on it, and I read that it's very common within African-American women, and I'm like, of course it is. Like, of course. Because... We don't already have enough burden on our back. Of course, we would be the ones to suffer from this more than our other counterparts. If you are somebody that suffers from prolonged bleeding during your cycle time, I would definitely suggest that you make an appointment with your doctor. I would go to your doctors to see if fibroids is a possibility for you as well. Just to see, you know, catching it early, I think is the best way to do it uh, so that you you do have the option to say, OK, get it out of me. I don't care if it's nothing. Get it out now and you know just be done with it or please just educate me because i'm really lost because i really feel like it just grows over time and i feel like they really just try to blanket us and tell us oh don't worry about it until like it becomes to a point where we have to pay a lot pay them a lot of money in order for them to get rid of it so maybe right now for them to get rid of it, it won't cost that much because it's i guess not as like important but later down the line when it becomes important then they're gonna try to like slap me in the head with a fee with a huge fee so, yeah, just let me know. That's basically what I was talking about in this video. Let me know if you've ever suffered from fibroids and just how you're dealing with it.